Hey everybody, it's the Seth from Coming Ontario. This is time for Manifesting Monday. I've always done this as a newsletter or uh, something you can get in Spaces. If you're not in Spaces, it's an app for queer people, by queer people. And uh, I have a place there called Tarot and Relationships. Come join. Uh, so I've been sharing it in all these places and I thought, it's time to start talking to you about it. So uh, you can always find more more information over on Patreon at patreon.com slash coming out tarot. Because what I share here is that here, here's what you need to know. Here's the thing you can take to start manifesting this week by your sign and focus on. But if you want to know a little bit more about how to do the thing or if there's any nuance to it, and there's usually nuance, then you can find it over at, uh, at Patreon. So what what's coming up this week what's the energy well we've already got the new moon and you can find my new moon reading on here for uh it's called raw tarot scopes so you can set your intention for the new moon a lot of this energy is similar but it's going to be specific for the week so things to know about how to get started manifesting this week we're we're already on the cusp of something it's going to feel like we're on the edge like you're living on the edge you might get songs during this I like to sing sometimes. Um, <laughs> so you're on the edge. Things are about to happen. It feels like you're on a precipice. And um, some of you may be a little more advanced, and that'll come out in some of the information. Uh, most likely on Patreon, there's there's a few signs that are already turning the corner, like it's happening. And then there are the, the rest of us who are kind of <laughs> taking our time, but we feel that the energy's there, so you might just feel it. And... And what's interesting is the people around you are the ones that are going to like push you. They're going to change something that's going to cause you to look inside a little deeper and want to do something different. So your awareness is going to change and that's what that precipice is. And this reminds me of um, actually a place where I work. And uh, several years ago, maybe 2012, somewhere around there, uh, there was a, a, a temporary person in our office who um, I was getting along with really well. We enjoyed uh, sharing time together and uh, great sense of humor. So uh, I, I was telling him about something that had happened to me, which was an experience of my father uh, sharing a, a story that was very obviously biased and racist, all of it. And uh, I, was, I was, couldn't believe he'd done this and I was sharing this story and the man turns to me, uh, who is a black man, and says, well, then you're racist too. And I was like, what? what? <laughs> you know, my, all of my sensibilities were offended. And I was like, what are you talking about? Don't you, don't you know that I'm angry that he's doing thing? D didn't we just have this conversation together? How can I be the, put in the same category as my father? How could you, you know, how dare you call me a racist? So then I promptly went to uh, all of my lengthy, lengthy connections, my length, the, the time, lengthy being the time that I've known someone. Um, I, I went to every, almost every black person I knew and related this new story. What I was doing was looking for absolution. I'd been given the impetus, but I was looking for someone to forgive me and to tell me that I was, I was not a horrible person, that I was not the racist I was being accused of being. And this was before we had um, a, like this cultural awareness in a white community of anti-racism, white supremacy. It just didn't, it wasn't permeating like it is today. Uh, but uh, his, his, his statement, his accusation caused me to do something and change. But my doing was also problematic because I went to people to, who were also black people to forgive me for being, um, and tell me that I wasn't a racist person, which was also the wrong thing to do. And I was exemplifying everything he was saying. So um, it was a big kick in the ass. And luckily I was fortunate enough to have one of these individuals tell me, figure out your own shit. If, if he said that and it bothers you, you got work to do. And they were right. They were, they, and I've been working on it ever since, and it'll be a constant effort, refocus, redesign, uh, to, to live in that space of understanding how I 
impact, affect, continue, discontinue racism and white supremacy within uh, the, the connections that I have. So you will hear some of that here. Uh, all right. Uh, so I share that story to say I was given a precipice. I was on it. And then something changed. And it may not be something that changes in a week. It just it may be something that continues to happen over time. So uh, don't be discouraged if if this impetus that you're receiving is something that you're like, oh, it's going to take longer than a week because uh, I might have to. So uh, overall, the energy of the week, besides what I'm already shared, is brought to you by the Eight of Cups. It's time to move on, which is what this energy is giving you is is precipice in order to shift or change you got to take stock of where you've been and just notice where you want to be so that you can make the directions you can make the plans so you can get there and and consider how you feel in this vision of the future because how you feel about it is going to also kick in your natural decision making um, it'll either be an emotional state of, oh, yeah, no, oh, yeah, yeah okay, yeah, I want to do that. And you'll, you'll reach a point of feeling right about it, or it'll be an instant yes or no. For those of you who are sacral in your response, um, you might know right away what direction you want to go. And, and you can start going. You can start moving quickly where the, the emotional decision makers might need a little more time. And those who have other decision making um, uh, sources may also need to talk to people uh, or themselves to figure out what to do next. All right, so let's talk about what's coming up for your signs. Aries, we've got Aeon. This is an opportunity for you to pay attention to a new calling that's coming your way. It's here. You, you've got one of these driving energies that's aligning with the week, and it's happening as a lesson for you. You can find out more about how to address that, like I was saying earlier, over on Patreon, but this is something that's come up for you before. Uh, similarly, Taurus, you've got the lovers. This is going to be a great week for you to focus on relationships and how you're engaging in those relationships and what it means to move through, past, all, <laughs> maintain all the things. Uh, going into Gemini, one of our favorite cards in the deck, you've got the Eight of Swords. And this is indicating that boundaries are going to create challenges for you. And uh, there's some nuance to that you might want to check out over on Patreon. Cancer, we've got a water card for you. We've got the Father of Cups, so here's your daddy. You might be bringing some of that energy into the week. Use emotional maturity to your advantage. And if anybody's going to do that, it would be you or Pisces probably, but you, you got it. Uh, we don't talk about the Scorpios. Now, now Leo, uh, we've got the energy of the Four of Swords coming in here. So hit the pause button. You're going to need to, you're gonna need to take a little pause. Um, this isn't about resting. This isn't about stopping. This is a pause. Uh, now, moving into Virgo, four stones, earth and earth. We've got some intense, or you might get a little stubborn here, but Virgo, you need to store your necessities and plan ahead. This is an interesting connection to what's going on in the raw tarot scopes, Virgo, because uh, if I remember right, you got Empress, and there's a, there's a bit of a... Uh, opposite message happening but I think they can work together and if anybody can pull that off you can Libra we've got the the chariot it's time to get ready to level up uh, it's things are gonna feel a little bit out of balance now Scorpio we've got the hangman some more water water and water you guys are lining up with your elements which is interesting new perspective is needed Scorpio and I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find that real quick Sagittarius we've got the three of stones it's time for you to plan and delegate not an easy thing for you to do because you'd rather just get it done yourself wouldn't you but no you need some support Capricorn we've got the two of cups for you we're getting a little water in that earthiness and kind of make things mushy and oh, it's, it's gonna feel so good it's gonna feel so good commit with a declaration it's time for you to say what you feel and tell people what you want them to know so that you're committed to something and they're feeling that commitment too Aquarius got the ace of stones you need to ground yourself it's your season it's you're probably going to be like uh, and excited about all the things and ready to like delve into the craziness of the universe bring it down bring it down because then other people can connect with all that magic you got going on pisces got the ace of swords it's time for you to have an opinion 
have an opinion. I know you got them. We just don't hear them all the time. So a uh, lot of energy going on this week. There's a, a lot to pay attention to around the precipice. If you want to know more, you could always dig into more over at uh, patreon.com slash coming out tarot. At the Queer Community 2.0 tier, that's when you start to get this detail and information um, about how to work with these nuances and what you can do during the week. All right, everybody, I hope you have a great Monday, and I'll see you all later.